Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? It's uh, that eagle we got in last night is still alive, and so he needs another feeding real quick. He's in absolute critical condition. We got to get him some more fluids in him and uh, and food. What is that paste? This is a uh, high protein, um, extremely dense um, food supplement paste that I mix in with some uh, Pedialyte to uh, give him the fluids but also give him some nutrition at the same time. This is a uh, whole mice in chunks. Give him some. Give us food. Normally, you, you wouldn't have to cut a mouse into chunks like this for a great big eagle. No, but he's extremely, extremely weak. And so we have to uh, tube feed him and force feed him and everything to keep him, keep him going. There's our very, very sick little friend. Okay, breakfast for everybody. White mice, domesticated. Uh, we buy these from the laboratory supply house. Um, we have to feed everybody natural foods, so this we buy mice uh, frozen by the thousands to feed the injured wildlife that we care for. We also buy rats and quail. And this is a special treat that uh, most people don't have an opportunity for. These are, the, the locals call them uh, chiselers or pot guts. Uh, they're kind of a local gopher is what they are. And uh, I've got a farmer uh, that uh, has his fields completely infested with these things and, and instead of uh, poisoning him and that kind of stuff he uh, he basically uh, uh, traps them and and instead of just throwing them killing them throwing them away he donates them to us so that we have these uh, surfers with pot guts and this is a very very normal kind of a food natural food the vast majority of the raptors in this area feed on and that's why these raptors are so important these birds of prey is because they eat these and they help to keep the road population down from from getting out of hand so so this is a great food for the animals and we'll go ahead and get everybody fed here okay and this is our newest patient well hi sweetie this is our newest patient, and this is a golden eagle. It's a young one. It just came in last night. Um, it's a young eagle. It was uh, found down in the slot canyons by Escalante, Utah, uh, and uh, pulled out of the slot canyons. The slot canyons were about uh, about five, six feet wide, and it was down the bottom. It hasn't eaten anything 
uh, for maybe close to two weeks. It was right on the verge of death. It was starving to death. And it is now moving around a little bit. And it, I'm going to give it one of these chiselers in the hope that this little eagle Hey, sweetheart. Oh, yes. You're looking much better, sweetie. In the hopes that she'll uh, feed herself all by herself, but if not, then I'll have to go back in and, and two feet and hand feed. Well, we're heading out to uh, two feet. A young golden eagle just that just came in. It was uh, uh, found uh, out uh, west of Cedar City at the bottom of a mine pit and got weak and couldn't get out of the mine pit and, was, and is starving to death. There he is. Hey, sweetie. There's our little one. How you doing, huh? Yeah. And this is a great example of what I tell people. You know, I could just walk right up and pick him up. That's bad. Basically, basically this is a wild animal. If they don't act wild, um, that's a problem. Hold it here. Hey, baby. Your mouth. There we go. There we go. Get that all the way back. There's my boy. There's my boy. Okay. That's my boy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I know. There you go. Yeah, you want to bite me? That's good. I like that. You're allowed to. Biting me is perfectly legal. Yes, it is. Here we go. So this part of the meal is mice? Yeah, this is uh, extra large mice cut in half. And uh, basically just uh, want to get, uh, and also soaked in the these same fluids that we use for the tube feeding. So we try to get him some fluids, get a little nutrition in him. And uh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. And we'll repeat this in, in a few hours. Yes, we will. We'll repeat this in a few hours. And hopefully, that'll give you the energy to fight back a little bit more. That's right. Okay. I gotta get that down there. Oh, there. Uh, good morning, Scout. Here's your breakfast. Come, my baby. Good morning. Here you go. How are you guys this morning, huh? How are you guys? One of those two are e is eating on its own. The other one, I'm not sure. So we'll keep uh, feeding it. And she's eating on her own, so she's doing just fine. This is the one that came in about a week ago that was almost dead. And she's uh, looking very, very good.
Well, and, uh, I gotta go water everybody. I think it's breakfast time. Come on, Sue. Let's get some breakfast. You gonna cook for me? I always cook for you. I know, you make the best breakfast. Oh, I gotta get my birds put out real quick first. Okay. Eat breakfast every day after he takes care of the critters. I am so lucky. Delicious, healthy breakfast.